Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle for Thursday the 22nd of April 2021 I see in the news um, a person uh, working in a hospital man has um, been uh, dubbed King of the Absentees by the Italian media, media after skipping his job for 15 years <laughs> I thought that was quite funny um, hats off to him I think uh, probably everybody who's been an employee at some point in their life has maybe skipped uh, an afternoon or something but <laughs> to take 15 years absenteeism uh, and at a cost of 538,000 euros uh, is really beyond the pale <laughs> anyway he's been found out now and, uh, and we'll have to um, Pay the money back, I'm not sure, pay a fine, uh, go to prison, I have no idea what's going to happen to him. But anyway, um, that's a, a rather lighter story uh, in India, or serious for him anyway. Um, now today's Sudoku puzzle is given as hard, um, we won't take them at face value, we shall wonder if we have any beginners with us today, so I shall just explain very quickly the rules for Sudoku. There are 81 squares joined together in this way, nine rows, nine columns, and each of these squares needs the number one to nine in them. Okay, so it's clear, right, you can see the large numbers here. We also have these nine boxes, and each of these nine boxes needs numbers one to nine, having just nine squares. So I think you can see each number appears once only, and we play the game by uh, looking at the grid and trying to find places where numbers have to be placed uh, at first and so for example looking at today's grid I see that this four blocks along this column this four blocks along this column what it means is four already exists in this column and therefore cannot exist again because there are only nine squares and we have to fit numbers one to nine in so no four here or here and this four blocks this square and this square and there's a 4 in this row, no 4 can exist again in this row, so nothing coming here. And there's 4 blocks here. So there's only one place in this lower right-hand segment, or box 9 if you prefer, um, block 9 if you prefer, where we can fit uh, a number 4. So we put it in. We found our first number. We see that this 2 blocks these 3 squares across here, right? And this 2 blocks this square here, so... We can also fit a 2 here, like that. Okay. Um, since this is a hard, supposedly a hard level puzzle, I immediately... Oh, well, no, I won't. I'll just take the easiest ones first. We'll, we'll just go through it as easy as possible first. Okay, 8 across here. There's 8 across here. There's just one space for an 8 up here. Okay, I'll say what I was going to say. Uh, in this segment up here, 2 is limited to these two squares, right? Because this 2 blocks this column here, and this 2 blocks this row. So you can see there's no 2 here, here uh, sorry, no 2 here, here, or here, right? So it's limited to those two squares. But that's not my objective here. Um, I'm looking at this segment over here, and now I know that 2 will appear either here or here. I know that it can't appear here, right? It's blocked from this square. So there's no 2 appearing here. This 2 also blocks these 3 squares here, and there's a 2 blocking this column and 2 blocking this column. So again, there's only one place we can fit a 2 in that particular box. Um, okay, this 3 is going to block along here, right? So those 3 squares are out, so we know 3 has got to be either here or here. And that means it's going to block down this column here, and this 3 blocks this column here. So that has to be a 3 there. I hope you can imagine, you know, future 3s here. It's not that difficult to, to, to see. It's not like, you know, you don't have to be Nostradamus or anything like that. 
So these threes are blocking down here, so threes, and that's a three there. Um, I don't play these games before uh, starting, so I have no idea if they're going to be easy or difficult. They're sometimes surprising, surprisingly easy or surprisingly difficult sometimes. Um, you never can tell. Um, right, what's missing here? One, two, three, four, five. So six, seven, and nine are missing. Is that going to be any help to us? Yeah. Okay, so missing numbers in this column are 6, 7, and 9. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We don't have 6. We don't have 7. We have 8. We don't have 9. But 7 and 9 are in this same row together and blocking this square. So it can't be a 7. It can't be a 9. So it's got to be a 6. Okay, just looking around. Okay, eight in this column up here, eight in this column here, so that's an eight there. I'm doing this fairly randomly. Um, when I get, uh, you know, I just really look for anything that, that pops up. That's my um, way of doing this at this stage. Anything that just immediately hits my eye. Like, for example, in this column, we don't yet have a 2, but there's a 2 blocking here. So that's got to be a 2 there. And the last remaining number is a 1. So we can fill that in. And now we have a 1 blocking down here, 1 blocking here, 1 blocking here. So that's a 1 there. Um, the 2 blocking along here, this 2 blocks along here, this 2 blocks along here, so that's 2 there. I see 431 and I don't see 431 here. So I'm going to count through. Okay, I just, um, I see three numbers here that I don't see uh, along here. Um, so um, I, we've got four numbers here, three numbers here, seven, so it should be two. Okay, let's just see. So uh, missing along here, we don't have one, we don't have a uh, Three, we don't have a four and we don't have a five. One, three, four, five are missing, I believe, along here. All right, no one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, so, but look, one, three, and four, all looking at this cell here. So that's got to be a five, hasn't it? All right. Okay, let's think about it. It can't be a one, it can't be a two. It can't be a 3, it can't be a 4, it can be a 5, it can't be a 6, it can't be a 7, it can't be 8, it can't be a 9, it's got to be a 5. Okay. Um, when I start to slow down, I'll start to look more methodically through the numbers. Um, generally, I just try to, you know, let the numbers speak to me, if that <laughs> means anything. After you've played a few games, uh, it tends to... Right, this 4 here blocks these two squares. Remember we had 1, 3, and 4 blocking here. 4 blocks here, and there's only one space left in this row. So that's got to come here, isn't it? So we know these two numbers are 1 and 3. Um, so if these two numbers are 1 and 3, and we have a 1 and 3 in this middle row here, 
then it, this has got to be one and three in the top row, hasn't it? In this sector, right? Remember, a number can appear once only in a box, in a row, in a column. So if we've got one, three here, and then in this, this is in the, let, imagine this shoot here, right? This, this top section. We've got a one and three here. We've got a one and three here. Then we've got to have one and three in these two squares as well, right? Now, which way round, we may not know originally, uh, at first. But when we look down here and see an intersecting 1, we know that 1 is blocked there. So that's got to be a 1, and that's got to be a 3. Um... So there's two blocks along here, there's two blocks along here, that's a two there. Uh, I believe that's all the digit twos now, in fact we don't need to think about digit two anymore. We don't need to concern ourselves with that particular number. Okay, I'm going to try to um, be a bit more methodical now because I um, the, the the numbers are not jumping up at me um, anymore. So um, let's try to see. Uh, uh, first of all, let's look and see if anything useful is here. What's missing? One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. So seven and nine are missing. Do we have any clues on seven or nine here? Uh, not really. We can we can't tell just yet. That means this has got to be a seven or nine. Any clues here? No, no clue there. Okay. Um, so then let's. What's missing down here? One, two, three, four. So this is five and six. Any help there? No, can't see anything. That's going to help us down there. So now let's start to count through the numbers. So ones we know ones and threes are here, right here and here. Uh, ones down here, ones are there, ones are here, nothing useful. Twos we've got already, threes, we know threes are up here, nothing useful there, nothing useful there. We know this is a three. Fours, ah, okay, so a four down here, four up here, four blocking along here, and a four blocking on here. There's just one space for a four. Um, and that, I believe, is the final digit four. We don't need to worry about those anymore. Uh, let's look at fives. Anything useful on fives? Five's going to be here or here. It's going to be here or here. Down here, we can't tell. No, nothing really useful. Um, sixes. Hmm, sixes are... Uh, here or here, but that's not helped much. No, nope, nothing really useful. Um, sevens, down here, sevens. Seven here, here. No, nope, nothing really useful. Eights, uh, have we done eight? Not quite. Eights are here. And here, nothing really useful. And so nines across here, also up here. No. So I'm going to start putting in some candidates then. So let's uh, make life easier now. So remember we had one and three here. So you can call these pencil marks. Call them what you like really. Five and six down here. But they are helpful indicators of what can appear threes we decided earlier goes there or there. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so it means that these five, this five or six um, are possible candidates <coughs> and uh, um, can go in these um, possible, can go in these squares. Um, 
Okay, what else? Let's up here. Let's do this. Eight um, has to be somewhere in this row, but it's blocked from being here. The other missing numbers are five and six. Uh, so six is going to be a pair here or here because six will appear here blocking this square six blocks up here so six is going to be there or there um, five's not very helpful uh, all right um, this seven blocks this square here so seven is a possibility in those two locations there um, all right, down here, nine blocks this um, column, nine blocks this row, so nine is a possibility in these two squares and these three squares up here. Um, what else? Seven blocks down here, seven blocks across here, so seven is in these two squares and so these squares block along, these two candidates will block this square and this square. This square is blocked by this 7 here. So 7 has got to appear either here or here. There's 3 blocks along here, there's 3 blocks down here. So 3 has two possible locations there. There's 5 blocks along here. Again, I seem to be doing this fairly randomly. I'm trying to do the paired candidates that I think might offer the greatest chance of uh, finding something. Um, it could just be completely wrong, but never mind. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Uh, this one blocks down here, this one blocks down here, so one has two possibilities in that segment there. This one blocks along here, this one blocks down here. Ah, okay, now we've found three and one right now. This is always useful. Um, so um, when we have three and one and three and one, two digits in two squares within the same segment, uh, they are exclusive to each other, uh, and meaning that they can't be anything, the 3 and the 1 can't be in any other place and nothing else can appear here either. So when we're counting through the numbers we can forget these They're out of contention right now. So it means when we see we've got 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, we don't have a 5 but we consider that 5 will block these two squares and therefore will be a candidate in these two locations here. And now that we know that, we know that this five or six here well that five can't be true can it so we know that that number now is six and that number now is five also back over here now so we've got this three and one pair right this exclude and this naked pair or matching pair if you prefer whatever the six blocks along here right there's six blocks here we don't yet have a six in this segment so six has to appear here right because it can't come in either of these two squares these have to be either three or one nothing else six blocks here so that's our six here and now that we know that we know that that candidate six can't stand anymore that's our six there a missing number up here is this is got to be a seven or a nine i know that but um we can't tell which is which just yet. Okay, onward and upward. Um, so this seven blocks this square here, so we've got two possibilities for seven. So this eight when we fill it in will block this square here so eight has two possibilities along the top row no it doesn't silly me eight's blocked here isn't it of course because we have an eight here already so that's eight I apologize okay so this is in fact our seven and nine pair
seven nine seven nine. Um, this is also seven and nine, seven and nine, right? These two along here. And I know this square has also got to be seven or nine. Um, what's the other? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So um, we can't tell where a nine comes in here actually. I'm going to fill it in in the bottom right hand of the cell. My pen seems to be running out. Uh, the bottom right hand of the cell, not the top left, because for me, I put pairs in the top left position of each cell. Um, and anything that's not a pair, I put in the bottom right. That's my way of notating. Uh, right. So let's keep at it. Um, Hmm. Not seeing too much over here. Okay, well, let's see what's missing here. One, two, three. We don't have. Can't really tell just yet. Four, five. Five has to be a candidate in these two locations, right? Um, just to explain that five, this five blocks along here, this pair of fives block these two squares, so five's got to appear either here or here. Six blocks these two squares. Six blocks these two squares. So six is a pair here and here. This eight blocks, blocks this column, this eight blocks this row, so there are two possibilities for eight. You know, this is turning out to be quite an involving puzzle. Uh, it's given the level of hard, and normally in Guardian terms that means easy, but I mean, maybe we're doing some work here, so maybe it is uh, you know, more difficult than usual. Unless I'm missing something, of course. Right, this eight blocks down this column, so there are two possibilities for eight in this segment here. The last number nine, we have no idea on. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm running out of ideas for pairs here, to be honest with you. Uh, so if we run out of ideas for pairs, then generally we have to start filling in greater than pairs, <laughs> which I'm going to do now then. So missing numbers here are 5 and 6. We don't have any intersecting 5s and 6s, so I'm going to put them like this. Okay, 5 and 6. Pen is running out, I apologise for that. Down here we've got 5s, because this 5 blocks this row here. Up here we had nines, and these three squares could any of them could contain a nine because there's no intersecting nines here. Uh, right. Okay. Um, let's keep at it. Since I'm committed now to filling in all the candidates, I think um, this area down here is bugging me. Uh, we've got one, two, three is blocking here, but we can't tell about the columns, so three is in these locations here. Four, five, six we don't have yet, it's somewhere in the middle here. Seven, eight, nine, oh, okay, that's a single six, isn't it? Um, let's see now, we've got one, two, we've got three in these four locations here, five, uh, four, five, six we don't have yet, we'll 
hold on on that seven we've got eight nine we've got so that is actually a single that's a six there okay now we had a pair of sixes here so that can't stand anymore that's a six there uh, now this is either a five or a six so that's a five uh, there's no six here there's no five there so that's now an eight no six because of this right and no five because of this and so this is now our six Um, okay, let's see what's happening in this segment. This is the only um, area we haven't actually filled in. We still have some candidates to fill in. So, one, two, three, we don't have yet. Three is blocked from this square here. Ah, hold on a second, I've seen something else. Uh, we had a pair of eights here or here. Uh, this eight blocks this square now doesn't it so that can't stand anymore so eight is actually here let's fill that in right now now we had a pair of eights over here that's no longer true that is true we're overwriting a pair of fives not the nine here that's not important but five because it's in the top left so the five must exist here and the nine must be here we can now remove that nine there now we're going to get all of these seven and nines. There were lots of sevens and nines, remember? Let's get rid of that nine there. So this nine or seven is now a seven. This is now a nine. This one down here is now a seven. That's now a five. And this is a nine. Okay, and over here, seven or nine, that's a seven. That's our nine. Uh, we did finish filling in the candidates here, all right? So that's our nine. This one is a 3 and that one is a 7. This is the only box we haven't filled in all of the candidates. Uh, okay, there's one number missing. It's what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It's a 7, so we can fill that in now. And now we had a pair of 7s down here. That's not true. That one is true. I'm overwriting a 1, so that's a 1. Here's a 9 pair, so 9 goes here. Uh, just two numbers left, 5 and 3, 5, so that's a 5. And that's a three. Three or one, that's got to be a one, that's got to be a three. Three or one, that's a one, that's a three. Okay, and so now we've just about finished. One, two, three is missing here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So nine blocks here. That's our nine there, and that's our five, our last remaining number. Um, and let's just double check I haven't made any mistakes. Seem to go a bit fast at the end now after some um, plodding through until I found this single six. Um, that was a, a fairly tough going. Um, it's certainly a at least a medium level puzzle, I'd venture to guess. So thank you for joining us and uh, please subscribe to the channel and subscribe to other people's Sudoku channels. Learn as much as you can about the game. Promote peace harmony and logical thinking and I hope to see you again tomorrow. Thank you. Bye-bye.